Touchdown, Longview! Well, welcome back, everyone, to uh, Lobo Study and Brent Taylor, Eddie and Mike Richardson. And we've got a 37-7 score here to start the fourth quarter. Mount Pleasant with the football. At the Longview, second down, and they said second down and nine, so I guess the football is at the Longview 10-yard line. Brent, Longview's played it. <clears throat> As you've mentioned, a lot of this third quarter with a lot of backups and a lot of sophomores out there, too, uh, underclassmen. Uh, Cameron Jones, uh, for one. Out there, uh, excuse me, Damian Jones and... Uh, Thomas Jones, both sophomores out there. So uh, Joe Brown, and Joe Brown. Of course, uh, you know he's already varsity player. Britt Brit Eastern, Eastern, another sophomore. I tell you, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, uh, the bus is still loaded. It sure is. Thirty-seven-seven. We start the fourth quarter. Longview leads. Mount Pleasant, second down and nine from the ten-yard line. Howard, the quarterback, on second down. He's going to run to the near side of the field. He turns inside, pitches the ball bad, and Longview's got it. Boo Howard at the 13. I tell you, I, well, that's just a, a, some bad plays he's made. I, I know, I, I, well, never mind. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. It's, yeah, it's exactly. just an ill-advised pitch. Well, and that pitch had no chance to go anywhere, even if he caught it, because two players were right on the, the pitch man, and... Uh, that's just, a, as you said, it's just very ill-advised and takes Mount Pleasant out of a chance to put points on the board. So, Longview, the new quarterback at the game, it is going to be Rashawn McGee. We'll get these other new ones if we can. The left tackle, well, they still got the, 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 number, the first line, I think, still in there. Eye back is Tyler McCray. Here's a first down and 10 play, and here goes McCray to the near side. McCray to the 30, McCray to the 40, McCray tackle at the 43 of Mount Pleasant. Wow. He just couldn't quite see which way he wanted to go. He was in the secondary, and he couldn't quite figure it out, but he got it to the 43 or 42. It's first and 10 Longview. 46-yard run that time by McCray. Now that puts him up to 94 yards after a... I think only last, had four carries. The last first half. week he had 186. Yeah, I think he was 186. Oh, he's uh, here's now here's the other side of the two-headed monster. Here's the Cedric Hunt. Here's Rashawn McGee to throw it. He throws it to Lagarius. Lagarius Johnson with Johnson his first with catch. Johnson with a nice of the year. catch. I think he did. He got a first down to the 27 yard line. It's first down and 10 long view at the Mount Pleasant. Now you're going to see the second second offensive line go in and a well deserved job by the uh, the first string line. They did an outstanding job and now they sure them. did. They sure did. We'll try to pick. Let's try to pick those up as much as we can. Okay. Tied in, of course, is Olsen. Wide receivers to the far side. That's Brunman Elder. To the near side is Johnson. They give it to the fullback up the middle. Keelan Shaw. Shaw's going to fight his way to the 22-yard line. And he's going to get eight yards or seven yards on the play. It's going to be second down and three. Got C.J. Green out there. Terrence Carter on the offensive line. Also got uh, Brantley Johnson at guard out there, just to, to name a few. Six-yard gain, second down four. Hunt with 23 yards, three I'll carries. I'll tell you one thing. I said one game. Keelan Shaw's kind of like a baseball hitter. He doesn't get cheated on his carries. No, he doesn't. He waits on the fastball and takes a good rip. It's a second down and four play for Longview. There goes Hunt. Hunt's up the middle. Hunt's going to fight for a first, and he got it at the 11-yard line. Well, they're still going. They, can't, they haven't blown the whistle yet, so he got a first down at the 11-yard line. It's going to be first down and 10. No, it's going to be third down. Guess he picked up uh, only be. three. Looked like he picked up well, about six or seven. No, it's I don't a first know down. Yeah, it's a first down. It's across the, it's across the uh, 17, and so it is. If it's first and 10 long view at the 17. 37 to 7 our score with 10-18 to go here in the uh, football game from Lobo Stadium. Brunson... Uh, Run one elder in at wide receiver also for Longview. First and ten Longview. There goes Hunt up the middle. He goes, and he got it to the ten-yard line. A saving tackle that time by Mount Pleasant. 
Cash Thompson, the linebacker, 175-pound junior. He held on for dear life and got him down to the 10-yard line. It is a 7-yard pickup. It's second down and three. Longview just so explosive, Brandon. Like you said, they can hit you with so many weapons. And uh, the backs, a, a great night uh, tonight for Kerry Fortson. So, uh, Garius Johnson in the game at wide receiver. It's second down for Longview, and they need three for a first at the 10-yard line of Mount Pleasant, 37-7. There goes Hunt up the middle. Touchdown. Oh, what a nice cut that was. He started left guard, went back to the right side, and stood up in the end zone. What a nice cut that was and a nice run. Yeah, it sure was. A nice 10-yard run by the Cedric Hunt. And Longview uh, adds to their lead, 43-7. 43-7 with 9.14 to go here in the uh, football game. And I think Addison McGee is going to hold for this extra point, and he is. He is. Eddie McGee's going to hold, and Kyle Jenkins will kick it. It's up, and it is up and good. Well, I don't know what else Addison McGee, but he's a pretty valuable player on that team, I will tell you. 44-7 44-7 Longview, 9.14 to go. Back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. 44-7, Ed. Well, a 10-yard t- TD run by the Cedric Hunt, uh, and he's had a good second half here. He's picked up 46 yards on only six carries. Now it's 44-7 Longview in control of this one. There's Hunt. There's Haas with a kick. There's Boyd with a return, and Boyd's cut down on the far side, and he's knocked down there by the cornerback, Ladarius Brooks. A nice open field tackle by Brooks. He played cornerback last week some. He's a junior, 160-pounder. He's going to play cornerback right now, I think. No, yep. Addison McGee's going back in. Now he's going to the far side. Tiller's going to come out. Got a nickname of Ping, and I don't know how he got that, but... Uh, I don't know, but I'll tell you. Little man, but he could. plays hard. I've watched him in practice a lot, and uh, he'll strike you. They have the two smallest corners in a uh, 4A ball out there. Longview <laughs> runs them out there. They, they, they can, they'll hit somebody. It's first and ten. Here's Howard from the spread formation. He is going to be oh, set up and him. throws it away. He was under a host of tacklers, and he got the ball away. And T- Tristan Coleman, the junior linebacker, was one that got there and made some pressure along Damian. with Damian Jones. So it's... First, second down and 10. 8.56 to go in the fourth quarter. 44-7 Longview. Well, it doesn't really matter who you put out there. The pressure is still coming there. And Howard, uh, I didn't even see a receiver out there. That could have been grounding. But uh, I don't think there was I'll tell you one. what, he's going he's gonna to get rid of it. Uh, and a lot of times they'll advise. It's really hurt them two or three times tonight. Here's a second down and 10 play for Mount Pleasant from their own 30-yard line. 8.43 to go. And the clock moves here in Lobo Stadium. 44. It was an incomplete pass, wasn't it? Yes. Here's how. Here's the pass. It's caught. It's caught out there, and a tackle made to 36-yard line. There's a nice throw and a nice catch by our Roman Herndon. That's his fifth catch of the night. He's had a good, uh, good evening. A good throw from uh, Howard that time. Third down and four, and the line of scrimmage is the 36-yard line of Mount Pleasant. 8:15, and the clock moving here in Lobo Stadium. 44-7, our score. Longview on top of Mount Pleasant, and it's third down and four. Line of scrimmage is the Mount Pleasant 36-yard line. Third down and four. Here's Howard. He's going to fake it, and here comes some pressure. He throws this one up in the air and incomplete. He got rid of that one. Well, the pressure's starting to come now, and he's really unloading the ball, and it's going to be fourth down, and Mount Pleasant will have to punt it away. 7.45 to go in the third in the football game, unless he's going to go back and return this kick. Good pressure that time by, by uh, Tristan Coleman. Joe Brown will be back. to. Joe return. Brown's going to return the kick. He's also a sophomore. I got some sad news for people around this <laughs> listening audience. If they think the wagon is empty anytime soon, it is not. It's a kick. Brown gets away from it. It's going to roll and bounce and be killed at the 